as a follow-up to my teabag gardening challenge, I was saying that I had some unexpected germination from my dwarf French beans in the teabag challenge. However, yesterday evening I decided to plant some of the dwarf French beans in the propagator in the soil. There's tomatoes on the right. So what I had done was where all of the tomatoes hadn't germinated, I moved those empty toilet roll holders can um, filled up with just normal potting soil actually um, I moved those to the left of the propagator and made two holes and plopped in two of the door French bean seeds this was literally yesterday evening and today to my surprise one of the seeds has germinated it's amazing should only take which should take a, a little while, but apparently the conditions were so perfect that it germinated within 24 hours, actually less than 24 hours. But of course, these, as I said before, these were failed tomato plants. And of course the conditions were so good the next day that one of the tomato plants decided to pop up unexpectedly. These are my tomato plants. These are Roma cherry, they were sown on the 12th and they should be germinating tomorrow but you can see that they've germinated already. Dwarf French beans planted yesterday, one's already germinated, it's amazing. So I do have some doubles and I do have some weaklings but I'm hoping that I will have at least 10 tomato plants this year. So the reason why I'm growing in the garden is to um, yeah, we sort of really be able to harvest tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and if at all possible, uh, pickle some or jar some for the winter because I use about two to three tins of tomatoes per week and go through about, I don't know, three or four punnets of fresh tomatoes a week, which generally comes to about 10, 12 euros a week. So in a month I'm spending about 60 euros just on tomatoes. So I did decide that I would try and make things more cost effective by growing my own tomatoes. So this is my first experiment. Last year I grew some courgettes. This year I'm growing some courgettes and beans and tomatoes and some herbs. So I'll keep you updated with regards to their progress.